Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to build this wagon. As you can see here, this is a list of materials that you need to build in survival mode and the dimensions. And now without further ado, let's just start building it. At first I want to start with the wheels and for that I'm going to take spruce wood stairs, place two of them up here and then two upside down ones beneath them. So this is the, the closest that we can get to a wheelie shape at least with, with this size of um, the block size. And then you'll want to leave one block free and create the next wheel right next to it. And then for the other side, I want to leave three blocks free, so one, two, three. And then place the next wheels, or the next, yeah, the next pair of wheels on this side. Once I'm going to leave one block free. And messed up right there. Okay. Like this. Then I want to take oak slabs and place them as top slabs as a kind of floor right here. So from one end of these wheels to the other end without any overhang. And then you have to determine where, whether, uh, where you want to have the front of the vehicle. So in this case I want to have the front here. So I'm going to place one more block, one more slab right here in the middle of this row. And now I'm going to take spruce wood planks, place two of them like this with two logs on top. And in the back I'm going to do it a little bit differently, so I'm going to place two upside down um, spruce wood stairs with an overhang of one block right here, and then it's two, um, two logs on top of that. Then for the rest of the walls of the vehicle I'm going to take uh, birch wood and fill in the planks on these two, uh, on these positions right here. And for the rest, I, I kind of want to have a pattern in the wall, so um, I'm going to do it like this. So up here there's going to be two more logs. And this is kind of too plain for my for my taste. So I'm going to make a pattern and uh, create depth with that in the wall. If you don't like the pattern, then just leave it be like this. But I like to place two upside down birchwood stairs like this. Then one regular one here, and one upside down one right here. So. It, that in this case you can see a little bit more of this oak wood um, slab down there and uh, this creates a nice shape for the window which is gonna be here uh, so as, as I said if you don't like this then, then just leave it be and just place birch wood uh, planks right there I'm just gonna continue like this so once again two upside down birch wood stairs one regular one in the middle one upside down more than there two more planks and two more logs like this then for the roof, I want to use um, oak wood once again, place them as top slabs along this line. And then for the next row, I want to use um, regular slabs, so not top slabs, but regular ones, with an overhang of one block to each side, like this. And then to finish this wall down here, I want to place um, a sideway log on each side, like this. But this way we end up with this half of a block where you can see the, the back of the log right here. So for that I'm going to use um, stairs to cover that up. Oak wood stairs on each side. And then a wooden slab on top. And this way, when we continue building the roof, just like this, once across here with the top slab in front of this. Uh, this way we, we wind up with a nice shape in the roof so if, if the roof was just to continue like this it would look kind of plain and boring but since we have this this tiny rise right here due to the stair and this one more slab the roof looks a lot more interesting from the side and this is what I wanted to achieve with that so then um, in the back what I'm gonna do is to take birch wood, uh, a birch wood stair and place it upside down right here and then one plank and leave this free and in the front I want to kind of make the construction where you um, where you um, kind of <laughs> connect it to the horse I mean we, we, can, we have horses now in Minecraft but we still can't well use them to kind of carry around these these kind of structures of course we can um, and this is kind of the um, the, 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 the part uh, when we place those two um, stairs right here and place like this fence gates so this would be where we connect the the vehicle to the horse's harness uh, simply to make it able to pull it 
Um, so in front here, I want to take Birchwood stairs and place one upside down here. And then I want to take a door and place it from the inside so that it kind of lines up with this, with this inset uh, we created by the upside down stair up here. And this would also be the place, I, I didn't place it like, like this, um, simply because when we place it like this from the inside, this would be where uh, the, the horse carrier would, would be sitting. And uh, yeah, so that's the reason why. And now the last thing I want to do is to take this fence and place it right here so nobody can climb through this window and steal our goods. I realize that there's not too much space in here. Um, if we take, for example, damn it, where's the chest thingy? Uh, chest. If we were to take chests and place them in here, we could probably do like, like this. Uh, you could probably place uh, some, some up here. Um, maybe you find a nice way to put it like it doesn't look like it's flying up here. Um, so I realized that there's not an awful lot of space in here. Um, but then again, this is mainly simply to have a design which, which looks nice from the outside. So maybe you have other ideas. I think this is pretty good from, from the size of it. I wouldn't like to make it one block wider, um, simply because then I, I would think it's too broad. But maybe you found a way of making it look like uh, not too broad, but still with a good size so that we ha can have a little bit more space on the inside to actually store a lot of goods to transport them. Well, and that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you liked the design. And if you have any suggestions on things that you would do differently to make it either more practical or more aesthetic, then post a comment below to let everybody, including me, know. And with that, there's pretty much nothing left to say for me, but after Man SCC4, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew made today, Lewis. You will hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.